on Sunday, we're really looking forward to an event that is happening at the joint in How to Be a Sport. Uh, this is quite a special event because uh, the good people at De Joint are donating the proceeds from the, the, the gate to Fields of Green for All because, you know, we had to uh, cancel the second D-Day in a row this year. So we really appreciate it, so we decided to give a special um, shout-out to them. Unfortunately, the tickets for, for, for se the seating area are all sold out, but there is picnic space available, and it's 50 rand uh, to get in on Sunday from 11 at De Joint in in hearties, so um, be live we music thought and all, all sorts. Yeah, there's yeah. going to be live music. We'll and, you know, there. they do great pizza. I'm sure there'll be other food, and they do great coffee, and um, you know, and we'll all be there. And we'll have a Fields of Green for All store, so you mm. can come and and buy a copy of the manifesto from us. We also have what T-shirts we've got left, and some amazing cannabis art, ceramics, and bits and bobs at our stall on on Sunday. But then. Joe, and I don't know who else was there, I think Dale was there, on when we did the manifesto launch on Tuesday, yeah. it was 4.20 of course, and at 4.20 we had we did a really exciting thing. We, yep, we hooked up with... We hooked up with some, some, some Native American people. The Mohicans. The Mohicans. The Mohawks. <laughs> the Mohawks. <laughs> we never get it right as South Africans, yeah. <laughs> So we were put in contact with a community group in Ontario, and they are First Nations people, um, and they also have a weekly podcast show like the Hotbox Show. Mm. And um, so we were invited onto onto their chat, and we were actually at Howard Audio for our event, and we just flipped open the lap laptop and we tuned in with these really nice oaks. Really yeah, nice. and they are activists because. Um, they live on the reservations in, in Ontario. So we had lots of questions to ask them. Because, yeah, yeah I mean, some of, of the, the, cultural some of the cultural stuff was, ex was really interesting. Eh? Mind-blowing. Basically, they have a Dompas. Yeah. They and they celebrate it, which is, was different to... Because they, yeah. that gets them out of trouble. So they have to carry ID because they have... Uh, because... You know, uh, not all First Nations people look the same, you know, so it's, if they get into situations where they've got too much weed on them, they show their First Nations ID mm. uh, that has obviously their address on the reservations and then they let go. So it's a really kind of, I would say kind of like fucked up reverse apartheid thing, yeah. <laughs> that if you live on the reservations you can grow more weed and they're, you're there, the cops won't harass you which they do outside the reservations. Yeah. But you've got to carry ID to put out. Anyway, it was really strange. Yeah. So we're yeah. looking forward to, uh, in the in the future, Fields of Green for All, to collaborating with with the, the people from the Mohawk Nation yeah, uh, in Ontario. An opportunity to check yeah. them. And that's about it from the Fields of Green um, update for today. To go and look at the manifesto launch. Mm -hmm. Join us in Hearties on Sunday and we can look forward to chatting to the First Nations in Canada sometime soon. Mm. So.